hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so today i decided to do this like orange and i don't even know but i'm loving these colors on my eyes so if you want to see how i got this look just keep watching let me know what else you guys would like to see um and make sure you stay tuned for the video on this wig that i'm going to be posting as well this is a 360 wig that i got from amazon and that will be in a separate video so make sure you look out for that but if you guys want to see how i got this look just keep wa watching let me know what else you guys would like to see <laughs> and i'll see you in my next video <sighs> wow i don't know the last time i've been on here talking concealer on my eye i'm just gonna buff it out i'm using this real technique brush i like to use concealer on the eye because i just like to like I like to use, like I, I try to like maximize my use of each, um, of each product, you know, like instead of like getting hell of different products, how can we make one product work for as many things as possible? All right, so boom, I'm taking a green eyeshadow, a light green, and we're going to put that in the upper crease and you're going to pack it and you're just going to slowly build up to that. Take your time. There's no rush. I mean, unless you are rushing, but I'm not in a rush right now, which is great because honestly, I hate rushing to do my makeup. Like, I'm ready to kill everybody. And once you like got it all throughout the crease, now I'm gonna like start to blend out those edges. But you don't want to use that blending motion until you've packed it on. Woo! It's lit, y'all! I'm so excited. My package just came. I got um, 613 hair from Ali Pearl. I'm about to do some crazy ass colors. I'm so excited. Whenever somebody knocks on my door, I always get hella scared because I live by myself and nobody knocks on my door. Like, I don't have company like that. So, unless like I know somebody's coming over, there's no reason why my doorbell should, somebody should be knocking. So, that shit always throws me off. But yeah, I'm still just applying this green color. So now I'm gonna take a more flat brush, a more dense blending brush. So when I apply this color, like it's immediately gonna give me the depth that I'm looking for. And pack, 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 pack first before sweeping. And bring it lower like it should kind of meet so it it's like it should naturally diffuse into that color Oh shit I fucked it up my friend is texting me Raquel texted me being messy oh my god I had to pause for a minute now I'm right back at it so now we're gonna cut the crease I'm using porcelain to cut the crease place it and then drag it down So now we're gonna start to apply the lid color and oh my god this LA colors brush is everything like I was so sleep on their brushes like first of all look at how much product it picked up from that orange like I literally just like did like two swipes into the product but oh my gosh shit, am I doing this wrong I'm just gonna press this into the middle of my eye like it's so hard like I find it so hard sometimes to like apply matte eyeshadows on the lid like they just don't always apply the best but maybe it's orange maybe it's the color orange because like it didn't do that with the yellow so actually scratch that this brush is still bomb that doesn't negate that but um yeah we're gonna just put this um green on the outer v it was so hard to blend like green and orange do not need to be blended next to each other like that is like the worst like they're so opposite of each other that they don't diffuse well together like they literally just like layer on top of one another like wow now that i'm sitting here talking like i really miss talking like i okay so if you've noticed in like my recent videos um i've made them hella short like they're all under five minutes and i'm not talking 
And the reason why I did that is because I'm like, people's attention span, I feel like it's getting shorter. Like people are not as like engaged for a long time as we used to be, especially with Instagram, the videos on there being one minute only. Like, like I just feel like, are people really sitting here watching my 10, 12 minute video, you know? So I'm like, to keep people's attention, to keep people's attention, I started to make my videos shorter, you know? Um, and like, I feel like they were getting more views, but then I always started to think, I'm like, well, are people disconnected with me because I'm not talking, you know? And it's like, well, that's like, it's just conflicting. Cause it's like, I don't really know. Like, it's like, I'm figuring it out as I go. Like, what should I do? What shouldn't I do? So yeah, but I did have people asking me like, hey, can you do a talk through? Can you do a talk through? So I'm like, oh, maybe people do want to hear, hear me, you know? But like, that is the reason why I started doing short ass videos. And then, um, um, and no talk, so I'm like, I'm just trying to keep people's attention. Like I want them to still be engaged. So yeah. I'm using the lemonade pigment from Jay LaRue Cosmetics. Um, this brand is so dope. Like literally I've been using her products. Like she's been sending me her products for a long time. And like, I feel like her brand has taken off now and I'm so happy to see it. Like it's so popular. Like everyone uses that white gold pigment, like a lot of makeup artists. So I'm, I'm just so happy for her. But um, I'm gonna place this on my eye. Like I gotta let me, I gotta test it out first. So I'm gonna go do it on this eye, see how it looks, and then I'm gonna come back and do it on this one. Priming my skin with this NYX. I think what is it? The Photo Finish Primer? No filter. Normal foundation. It was two dollars at Walmart. So we about to see what it do. When I tell you this is the best brush you will ever use in your entire existence on this planet Earth. Man, even my mom used it and like when she put it on, she was like, oh my God, like the, it's so good. Wow, okay, Rimmel. I've never used, I don't think I've ever used a Rimmel product in my life. And this is my first time using it. So for my contour, I use a black opal foundation stick in Ebony. And something that I started doing is like I place my contour higher like on my cheekbone so when I blend it out it stays high. So I feel like the lower you place it when you start to blend it out it starts to move so it's better to like blend it like place it higher so when you blend it out it goes exactly in that hollow of that cheek. I blend out the concealer and literally the Real Technique brushes are so bomb especially like blending out like concealer and stuff like I love it. Cause they're super dense and like they just do what needs to be done and I'm, I'm always tapping you'll never see me like sweep like just a tap like a very like stiff tapping motion I like to have a really bright under eye. Like I love the contrast of it. So that's why it looks like this. But like I said, so now I'm just going back into that contour, buffing that out. Now I'm gonna take the foundation brush and literally just tap right on it and everything will start to melt into one. And then I'll also go under that contour. And I'll just use like the brush that I use to for the hot the highlight blending out the highlight like underneath it to like lift things up a little more and then switch like it's like just alternating between the brush for the highlight and the foundation brush and the contour brush like I'm just going you know back in between now I'm blending out the nose contour and literally I'm using like a same like a stiff motion and pressing on top of it blending it up into the eyebrow. Now same technique that I was doing before. Tap, tap, tap. I'm drinking chlorophyll water right now. If you don't know what it is, go look it up.
<clears throat> starting Monday, well, I'm starting, I started last night, but starting Monday officially, um, we're gonna drink it. Me and just people on Instagram are randomly, we're gonna drink it every day, twice a day for 30 days. So if you wanna be a part of this, um, it has so many benefits like not necessarily like weight loss benefits like internal like health benefits um so yeah if you like go look up the benefits and if you feel like it's something you want to do then join me make sure you're following me on instagram though like so you can we could do this together i'm so excited um i'm trying to make better healthy choices in my life and i gotta get skinny this warm weather ain't playing with us. It ain't playing, boy. I'm like, I gotta be at the pool looking like a snack, looking extra edible. Like, I cannot, like, I have to get my life. I have to. Using the black radiance powder. And we're just gonna, oh, I just cut the shit out of myself. Oh my God. We're gonna use it to set. I feel like it just melts into the makeup better. I'm just setting my entire face with this. To set this contour, I'm using the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Powder. And bring back some color so we're not looking dusty. Because I look hella dusty right now. I look dusty as shit. Now I will set my nose contour and I literally just tap, tap, tap the powder right on top of the, like where I've already created the contour at. It's like the work has already been done, so you really don't gotta do much. I'm using black eyeliner for my waterline. It sucks whenever I use like different colors like I hate the way it makes me look like I feel like it just make my face look too strong like oh I don't like it and like it looks so good especially like white eyeliner at the bottom I haven't worn highlighter in like the last like three weeks like I just love the way my makeup looks without it like it just 